if you just joined us, we're talking with Michelle Levitt with Heil Sound. And uh, she's not only the marketing and creative director there, she really understands a lot about uh, how to choose the right mic. And I'm curious to talk about this. Tell you what, it's 25 after uh, the hour. We're going to hear a, a brief message from our friends at the Telos Alliance and about the new IP intercom called Infinity. And when we come back, uh, Michelle's going to talk to us about choosing the right microphone. And she and her husband go to uh, various concerts, including some jazz concerts. And uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, her own mic selection uh, for her own playing and um, how to choose the right mic for instruments, for uh, in, in studio, for outside. Even the correct microphone for a woman's voice, maybe, versus a man's voice, depending on the characteristics of their voice. So she's got some cool information about that. I'm very curious to uh, understand what she has to say about that. We'll be right back if we hear this from Telos. Hi, I'm Martin Deister, Vice President of Business Development and Product Director. ...or broadcasting, and I say... Yeah, it's a gold standard for a male's voice because, you know, my voice sounds a little less than natural through it because I don't have as as deep a voice as like Kirk does. And um, so for me, I choose to use a PR30 or a PR35 like I'm using today because it is not as present on the low end and it makes my voice sound a little more natural and it really sounds like me. This is what I sound like in real life and I don't have to EQ this microphone to make it sound that way. Um, and then when you get into something like a drum kit where you're literally, you literally have different voices of drums, um, mm. you can, you can select specific microphones that highlight like a bass drum versus a cymbal. Like those sound completely different. You know, if you looked at the frequency response of those microphones, they're going to be set up in a way that um, highlights and makes whatever that that particular thing sound its best. Wow. Okay. so um, uh, if I'm not familiar with the entire range of Heil mics, you've got this uh, PR30 and uh, a couple others. Maybe you can remind me what they are. If you were going to mic a a drum kit, uh, what are some Heil mics that you might choose to hit the different drums and cymbals with? Well, I grabbed a couple small ones to show you guys because these are some of my favorites because they're teeny tiny. Um, they're our two smallest microphones we make, and they're both great for drum kits, um, but for different reasons. This guy mm. fits just about anywhere, and this is the uh, Handy Mic Pro Plus, and it's a part of our drum kit if you buy one of the, the uh, HDK5 drum kits. And this is a PR31 BW, and that BW stands for Bob Workman. Um, he's the front of house engineer for Charlie Daniels and he took one of our PR 30 microphones and he sawed off the bottom half and then asked Bob if he had voided his warranty. Um, (laughs) and Bob said, yes, but that's okay. And this microphone is kind of fantastic because for all the reasons that I explained to you about the polar powder and the rear rejection, you can put a microphone like this under a symbol and it won't pick up the drum below it. Oh, so, okay. Okay. Yeah, so you can get a really isolated sound from a live sound stage, which typically just has a lot of, you know, bleed and noise. And so in especially in a live sound environment. So if you're, you know, this is it's ironic that, you know, Chris was talking about you want some of that as- atmospheric noise. Well, in a concert situation, you kind of don't because there's so much noise on the stage that if you gave into that, it would just be You know, you might as well set one condenser mic on the edge of the stage and just call it a day. Um, And acoustically, a drum set, you know, is sort of balanced, but there are some things that are louder than others. And there are some things that because they're directional, like a kick drum, they sound louder than other aspects of the drum kit. So you want to be able to balance that sound out and make it sound a little closer to that album that you've been listening to at home. And so these microphones really do that in an incredible way. And I had an interesting experience. I, you know, I used to live in Buffalo, New York. And well, um, so you can actually mic in at a venue here where they um, typically you don't use a up. Now, we all know that there are some console features that Jock only uses once in a while. So why dedicate controls to them? Ruby fixes this problem by moving those once-in-a-blue-moon controls to a touch-sensitive, customizable GUI that happily shares screen space with your other studio software, helping you fight